for the Snowball Express. More than 1,300 children and spouses of fallen U.S. military are embarking on an all-expense-paid journey. Nasha Sherman takes us to their send-off. This holiday season might have been a sad one for many of these people. We're both going through grief. You know, I'm going through the loss of my only son, and he's going through the grief of losing his father. But today, Faye Crawford and her grandson, Devin, along with hundreds of others, will leave their sorrows behind and board the Snowball Express. It touches you so close because you hear, like, they've gone through the same thing you have gone through. Hundreds of children and spouses of fallen military will head to Dallas for a few fun days filled with activities and support. Is that our plane? An airplane comes in and the kids are all smiling and they get on board and they know they're going to have a great weekend. Uh, it's just, it's fantastic. This is an all expense paid trip for the group and all the volunteers are with American Airlines. Even the pilots, Kelly and Kelly, are donating their time. They didn't ask for the situation they're in, losing a family member in the military. So this is a great opportunity to help. We have all these children on board and we know that they're going to go someplace and they're going to forget about the, you know, the obvious. Kansas City's Mayor Mark Funkhauser made a brief presentation declaring December 9th as Snowball Express and American Airlines Day in Kansas City. And each child was sent off with a special gift. The Snowball Express doesn't take the place of a fallen military hero, but it does provide a little joy and comfort during the holidays to people who have been through tough times. Naja Sherman, NBC Action News. No, eight chartered and 22 regular American Airlines flights will make their way across the United States, departing from 48 cities, including Kansas City, to pick up military families for the Snowball Express.